Wednesday, February 14th. It is Valentine's Day. And isn't that exciting? I am heading to a middle school today to give a speech about love connections. <laughs> Alright, that's totally not what I'm doing. I'm not talking about love connections. I, I couldn't I couldn't keep that going. Uh, I am heading to a middle school today to give a uh, to give a speech, a youth motivational speech, uh, but it's not about love connections. There is a mentoring program where 11th graders from the high school mentor, I believe, 8th graders from the middle school and help them out on their transition over the next year from middle school into high school. The program managed to get a grant to do some um, extra interesting educational you know stuff and uh, they decided to use that grant to call me so I'm, I'm incredibly grateful that anybody puts their faith in me especially when it comes to speaking to uh, young people I think about 45 minutes is all the time they have so we're doing like a quick 45 minute interactive funny magical speech that also delivers a message is supposed to be entertaining for them particularly when it comes to mentorship about how mentoring is a mutual process so it is a mutual relationship built on trust understanding and perspectives that's what we're going to talk about today it's going to be a lot of fun let's go do it what do we think do we think that they can get out suppose they can get out You go by what? Drew. You go by Drew, but your friends call you? B Lake. B Lake? Now, is that short for Drew? That's his last name. Andrew. Yeah, it's my last name. Oh, it's your last name. That I just want to say how powerful this presentation was for our kids, this conversation with our kids about the power of connection and, and the way. He brought it together to, to really talk about our mentoring program here. Speech was fantastic. Absolutely huge success. Uh, but it is Valentine's Day, so on my way home now, I am heading into Edible Arrangements where I've got something waiting for me to pick up for Lindsay for tonight. I think they're like really super dark chocolate uh, covered strawberries, something something nice. And then I'm heading to uh, Stop and Shop to pick up stuff to make for dinner for us, for her. For Valentine's Day, I'm doing like a, like a, a butter, lemon, garlic, scallop pasta dish. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Appreciate Have a great day. You. you too. I'm heading into Stop and Shop on Valentine's Day at 5.30 to get the ingredients for dinner and the stuff that Lindsay needs to bake her dessert. I have no idea what kind of fresh hell I'm walking into, but I imagine that it's very bad because this parking lot is full. In all the years I've been getting lemon juice and lime juice to make dishes, I have never found that the prepackaged stuff tastes any different when it gets mixed into a dish than the, uh, than the fresh stuff. So, why bother? Just got home. Gotta put all the groceries away. Uh, clean up this place a little bit because we're, you know, right in the middle of packing. We're moving next week. It's insanity what's going on here right now. We're living in boxes. We're tripping over everything. Lindsay's going to be home in about an hour and 45 minutes. And in that time, I need to get the groceries put away. I need to finish the work that I need to do uh, for getting ready for the tour that I'm heading out on on Thursday, which is two days from now because it's Valentine's Day. And then I need to plan, prep, and prepare to cook and cook with the timing such that I'm finishing the meal within five minutes of her getting home so that it's hot and we can enjoy it. And that's what we're gonna do. 
Is this three tablespoons when I chop it? I never have any idea. Lindsay is just leaving work. It takes her 20, 25 minutes to get home. Trying to get around anybody and not going anywhere. 